Hey guys, you're watching Bats for Sports, and today we're here with a video on the AFL Grand Final that just happened between the Bulldogs and the Swans. It was an amazing Grand Final, very thrilling. Uh, the Bulldogs were massive underdogs, quite literally. They were able to defy the odds, overcome so many challenges and injuries, and they also broke a number of records, which I'll be talking about. Now to the first record that the Dogs broke uh, yesterday in their Grand Final is well, not the most interesting one but it is a record broken they had the most sons playing in the grand final of fathers who had previously played there were 10 who were uh tom libertore Lockie hunter liam pickens zane cordy josh dunkley tory dixon dan hannabry josh kennedy nick smith and tom mitchell all of those players had fathers that played afl in fact the combined games of those 10 fathers were 1,449 games. Of these fathers, Josh Kennedy's dad, John Kennedy, was the only one to win a grand final. Uh, Liam Pickens' father, Billy Pickin, played in five grand finals but did not win any of them. And Andrew Dunkley, who is Josh Dunkley's father, played for the Swans but they lost in the 1996 grand final. Another funny thing about this is that Andrew Dunkley, who, who is Josh's, Josh Dunkley's father, played for the Sydney Swans. And Matt Hanabry, who's Dan Hanabry's father, played 32 matches for the Western Bulldogs. Which means that they're playing for the opposite club than their father played for. Another interesting thing that the Bulldogs did was that they were in fact underdogs for every single finals game this final series. So they started off against the Eagles over in Perth which is a very difficult job with their large crowd and it's such a long way. So the Eagles were favourites, but the Dogs managed to win. And then the Dogs played against the Hawks, who are a powerhouse side. Um, they, the Hawks finished in the top four, but the Dogs managed to win that. Underdogs again. Then they played against GWS away over in Sydney. GWS have such a strong list. They were playing such good footy, but the Dogs managed to win. And then lastly, in the grand final, obviously, against the Swans. The Swans were favourites going into the game. I think it was a dollar forty to three twenty. And with the Swans' finals experience, they were expected to win, but the Dogs just were able to overcome it all, and they deserved it. Now, to probably the most interesting uh, record broken was that the Bulldogs won the grand final from the lowest position on the ladder ever. Uh, the previous record was, well, it's debated whether one of them actually counts, but in 1900, Melbourne finished sixth on the ladder and they won the grand final. However, the final series was a bit different to, to it was now and as a result of Melbourne winning from sixth, they changed it to give higher teams more of an advantage. So if that counts or not, then that was the record. But the other one was in 1998, the Adelaide Crows finished fifth on the ladder with... Um, Pretty sure it was the same final series now. If not, it was it was very similar, and they managed to win it. But now, obviously, the Bulldogs have broken that record. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, let us know what you thought of this video in the comments below, and give us any ideas for videos we'd like you'd like us to make in the future. And have a good day.